Hello everyone, Superman No Bros here, and today let's take a look at the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. Wait, sorry, it's actually Deformation Toy Series Mechanical Alliance YS04 Dark Commander Metal Version. If you can't tell already, this is a bootleg version of Transformers Studio Series Optimus Prime based on his look from the Bumblebee movie, which has to be one of, if not the best, Optimus Prime design we ever gotten in live action. It is perfect, and somehow they ruined it. Now, I'm not really into collecting bootleg or third party. Transformers figures with the only ones being a Optimus Prime, this, and a Peru kill which is coming very soon I'm very excited for. So I'm very new to this side of Transformers collecting but since the original figure goes for quite a bit of money I'm very happy to have this figure in my collection. But taking a look at the packaging I was very surprised by this. Now the first bootleg Transformers figure I got was an Optimus Prime and it came in a styrofoam container so that wasn't really the best example of third party slash bootleg packaging but this is really nice. This is definitely one of the nicest packaging I've seen ever for a Transformers figure. On the front and back, we have this really cool image of Optimus Prime. And on the side, it says Deformation Toy Series Mechanical Alliance YSO4 Metal Version. And that's really about it. It's really nice packaging. I was genuinely surprised by this. Now, taking a look at the actual figure, I am happy to say that this figure is actually pretty good. Now, the only other experience I have with a bootleg Transformers figure is this Studio Series Optimus Prime bootleg, which isn't very good. It looks nice, and the feet are actually die-cast metal, so it's kind of hard for this figure to fall which is really cool but he is missing a hand and it's not like as if I lost the hand it just didn't come with a hand and also he can't transform like at all literally the best part about this figure is the accessories these are so good i highly recommend you get this for an optimus prime because it just makes optimus prime just look better but i'm happy that this figure is pretty good now some issues i do have with this figure don't actually have to do with the fact that it's a bootleg but it's just issues i actually have with the studio series figure take a look at the sculpt he looks really nice visually from the front he looks so good but then you turn to the side and it kind of goes downhill from here the kibble on his arm is really really bad i'm not a fan of this and also it doesn't really plug in which kind of sucks in the backpack which does look nice i think just sticks out a bit too far but that's not that big of a deal but i do wish it was able to plug in because it just lays there and also i do wish his legs kind of compact more it, that's more of an issue with the bootleg figure but other than that he looks really nice and on the packaging it does mention the fact that there's metal or die cast metal in here but the only parts that actually are die cast metal are these chest plates here which you could tell is die cast metal because it's heavier and also it is cold and the paint is also pretty good it is missing some details but it's not that big of a deal they're just small details that aren't really noticeable but definitely the best part is the head the head looks so so good especially for a bootleg this is just something i was not expecting and the articulation is pretty good there are some issues with it like there's some joints that are just a bit too loose or a bit too tight and also they're just kind of annoying to deal with but or not the articulation is pretty good and you could create some really nice poses it also helps that the accessory is an ion blaster based on what it looks like in the bumblebee movie it looks really nice i wish there was some paint on there but it's not that big of a deal and you could put it on his hand which is kind of loose which sucks but it does look nice and also you could store it on his back you could store it like this which is kind of weird but also you can store it like this which i really really like now i'm gonna try to transform this figure on camera because the instructions that come with him suck there are some joints that i'm really scared might break because of how tight they are so in case that happens i might as well record it and capture it on camera so yeah let's begin that was scary This part is always confusing to me. How do you... So this joint right here is super tight. So when you push it down, you doesn't go in and then BAM! And now you can't get that piece out at all. I, we had to get a screwdriver and just go in there and just rip it out. It It's scary. Now these parts up here are supposed to supposed to click in, but these are always such a pain to hook up because as soon as you pop one in, the other one pops out. And these parts get to hook in there, but they don't want to stay in. And now everything's popping out. This is 
fine. This is fine. Now, take a look at the vehicle mode. I have a few issues with it. Visually, it would look nice if it would just stay together. This thing wants to fall apart. It does not want to be transformed. Everything just does not want to stick together, and I don't think this is an issue with the Studio Series figure, but rather the bootleg figure. It sucks. It's not fun to transform at all. Here's some size comparisons. So overall, this figure is pretty good. I was genuinely surprised by it. It has to be one of the best bootleg Optimus Prime figures I have ever seen. Now, obviously there are issues with it, but most of these issues are from the original Studio Series figure. But the issues that come from the bootleg is not enough for me to hate this figure. It's pretty good. And for $30, I highly recommend you get it.